Hello, I wanted to talk to you today about sharpening steels. Uh, sharpening steels or butcher steels, uh, very common phrase. Everybody has one, but uh, maybe the correct name for this item is actually a honing steel, since it hones the edge of the knife, doesn't truly sharpen it, just hones the very edge. Uh, traditionally, butchers use these, and they're butchering uh, meat all day long and they grab the knife and just give a few strokes like so to hone the edge of the knife and uh, chances are if you have one of these it may or may not be working anymore if you look closely at this traditional sharpening steel this one's made in Germany that's uh, what you're looking for right there Germany and uh, this is good quality it's very fine and you can feel you can feel the little grooves of metal along here. That's what you want. Uh, another type of steel would be the diamond sharpening steel. Again, uh, very fine. You can feel the diamonds right along here. That's what you want. This is an oval diamond steel. Uh, some people prefer it flat on both sides. And you, again, you can feel the edge here. And then we have other ones moving on. We have small folding sharpening steel. Great for pocket knives or anything small. And there's uh, all different sizes and shapes of sharpening steels. I'm going to show you some more in just a minute. Okay, and here we have a few more sharpening steels. Let's take a closer look. They come in, uh, let's see, they come in 10 inch shaft length, 12 inch, 14 inch. This one is ceramic, approximately 2,000 grit, very, very fine ceramics. You can feel the ceramic on there. Uh, this one is a flat sharpening steel, again from Germany. And uh, it's pretty cool. Ultra fine, very expensive. And there's less expensive ones. This is a white one, a Mundial. Works great, nothing wrong with it. So you've got all these different sharpening steels to choose from. Uh, the question is, what's right for you? And I tell you, it depends what you're sharpening. This is a uh, German slicing knife here. When I store them in my drawer or my knife case, I like to use these knife guards. This protects the knife, the edge, as well as you, your hands. So when you pull it out, uh, check the blade. This is pretty sharp. And if I was going to use a steel, I don't want to scratch the air pockets on here. So I'm going to grab my uh, German steel which is the fine one, uh, fine grooves on there, and I'm going to very carefully do about a 15 degree angle from the, from the heel to the tip on both sides. Just do this a few times. You can hear what it's doing, and if you notice I haven't scratched the blade at all. The blade still looks very nice. I can grab a small piece of uh, paper and, and you can see this nice pretty sharp. So uh, to use the steel correctly you want to do approximately a 15 or maybe 18 degree angle of the knife and if you're not sure you can also hold it in front of you like this. Just take a little bit off both sides and repeat. In case you're wondering, yes, the camera is in the way. It's like this. Repeat maybe eight or ten times. Now you've truly honed the edge of the knife and have not scratched it. So you have to pay extra special attention when you're using expensive knives.